how to check in Amazon products, organic and sponsored rank history. Now, previously we discussed how to see the total number of product rankings, but how do you identify what a product was ranking for and when, and now why is this important and how can it help make you money? Well, let's use the example of the beach ball that I used in a previous video. If I plan to launch a beach ball next July, or perhaps even in the spring, my primary focus would be on the summer months, June, July, and August. Now, conducting keyword research in December won't reveal the best keywords because only a few people are going to be searching for beach balls at that time. So instead, I should identify a top selling beach ball from the peak months of June, July or August of the previous year and then analyze its performance. This approach is going to allow me to see the keywords that drove sales during that time. And this method is not only useful for seasonal products, but also for year round items like power banks. For instance, if I notice a sales spike for a power bank in a particular month, I can compare the keywords it ranked for before and during that spike by identifying which keywords, whether organic or sponsored contributed to the sales increase, I can better focus on the keywords that could drive sales for my products. So understanding these keyword trends helps target the right terms to potentially boost sales. So how do you conduct this analysis? Let me go ahead and show you. So as you can see here, we've got a competitor here and we've done a reverse ASIN search in our Cerebro tool. And a lot of keywords have come up as a result. But what we want to do is actually click on this show historical trend button. And this is going to allow us to go back in time to see the rank history of this product. So when we take a look here, we can look at some of these, these months, maybe some months were better than others. Maybe it looks like you know, they had a lot of keyword coverage in October of 2022. So if I click on that and hit apply filters, I can go ahead and take a look where this product was ranked in the organic and the sponsored sections so that I can potentially target those. Now, if you see, um, for example, if I go back to the historical trend, like maybe one month they're not they're down and then the, ne the next month they, they do a spike, you can actually compare the two months and see where the spike was and you know what keyword coverage has helped to increase the sales. But I'm going to go ahead and just look at this uh, particular one here. So this is our historical trend for October of 2022. And what I'm looking at is the organic and sponsoring here. And you also can see the search volume for that particular month. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and use these filters. I'm going to say, I want to see where this product ranked between one and 20 and the search volume was a minimum of 300. Now you can also do this for the sponsored rank as well. And the sponsored rank is here, but I'm going to go ahead and search for the organic rank filters. And as you can see, we've got a great list of very targeted keywords that are probably going to be very relevant. And we can take a look at those keywords to potentially target in our own advertising and then also focus on ranking for those specific keywords. To understand a spike in sales, I compare a month with low sales to one with high sales, examining keyword performance. I analyze which keywords saw a significant increase in rank or reached the top of the page one, and this reveals the reasons behind the sales search. Competitors who aren't using tools like Helium 10 might not even realize why their sales spiked, but I can use this data and gain an edge. This feature is incredibly valuable and it helps identify not only spikes, but also drops in sales. So for example, if I see a competitor had a poor sales month despite being in stock, I can look at the previous month and, you know, successful month anyway, and identify which keywords lost rank or where they reduced their ad spend. And this insight shows me which keywords I need to focus on, you know, to avoid basically a similar sales dip. Again, this is one of the most powerful features in Helium 10, and it can give you so much insight and a competitive advantage. So make sure to leverage it. We'll see you in the next video.